welcome, welcome to, to I Lead Rwanda. Rwanda. We are here for the cause of the next generation of Rwandan leaders. John Maxwell says everything rises and falls on leadership. Our goal is to ensure that the next generation rises and rises through leadership. Our vision is to raise the next generation of Rwandan leaders who practice transformational leadership for a better Rwanda. Our mission is preparing the youth of Rwanda to become various based transformational leaders, practicing self and peer-to-peer -peer leadership through roundtable conversations. We are results oriented. We are accountable. We lead with integrity. We embody a heart of service. We serve with excellence. I lead is going to enhance the existing values in Rwanda and possibly introduce um, a more enhanced way of teaching younger people value-based leadership. We have seen uh, young people not behaving well, etc. So we believe this program that is uh, perceived to be very transformational brings leadership uh, from own uh, people being able to understand themselves, being able to, to lead uh, themselves and able to, to lead the others. So it's about leadership, transformational leadership, and it's about character building. It's very interesting that I lead has a way of really focusing on students and their values, their personal values. What do they bring into their own leadership, be it at home or at school? The values are many. One, I expect them to become agents of change wherever they will go. And uh, for someone to be an agent of change, it will depend on the choice that this person made. When you look at our values as the academy, they very well match uh, with the values of I lead. This is the missing link in our educational system, character, you know? Uh, when you talk of leadership, you're talking about character. You can be an engineer, but if you lack character, and you lack integrity, you build bridges that are going to collapse 20 years because you say, after all, I'll be gone. You know, it's, 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 it's critical. There is a university a slogan, uh, say it's a university in the States, called the University of Texas. You've got a slogan that really I like. It's called, what starts here changes the world. So borrowing that expression, what with this? Starting, it will change Rwanda. Yeah, it will change Rwanda, obviously. John Maxwell says that a leader who produces other leaders multiplies their influences. As the I Lead Rwanda team, we're here to serve you all, all schools in Rwanda, so that you can multiply your influence for generations to come. Take a look at some of these stories of impact. Before starting this, this uh, session of choice, I used it to make like plans, like goals, and to achieve them would be really difficult. But after learning this session of choice, I, I got to know that I am the only decision maker of my life. And I am the one who is going to make the choices which will change my life. What do you get by commitment? You don't relinquish, you don't give up, you don't formally give up anything. You always go on and keep going on. You don't just stop. But if you decide to commit yourself and do everything accordingly, you'll be able to succeed in your goals and your achievements. This program is about leadership. When I say leadership, don't just like uh, understand about being a president. Leadership, you can even lead your own life, like be your own leader. This book is very interesting because it teaches like how to make a decision. And you, you cannot like be able to decide for yourself, but there's something that says, Everyone has a gift inside him or her, but it is hard for him or her to discover it until someone helps him or her, like how she can know that gift inside him. So we all, we all need mentors or who can help us discover the gift inside us so that we can, we can be the leader of our lives. So thank you. I'd like to encourage everyone to continue with the program I lead because it is very helpful and useful to our life. This unit has taught me a lot of things about choices. Before I did not know that that the, no choice is also a choice because in life we feel like we have no any other choice to make but if we feel like we don't have a choice to make then there is a choice we also, we're also making. So it has taught me to make my own choices and make them as good as I can. 
In this iLead program, it's all about your leadership and your choices to make. So there are various things we have learned in the past three weeks after we have begun our iLead, such as making choices and making commitments. So the decisions you make should not impact others negatively. That's being a leader, that should be my aim. And my aim should also be to make decisions that will help me in my future and will actually help me and be helpful. And another thing is that I need to value people. Like over the past few days, I've learned this, that valuing others is extremely crucial in my daily life and being a leader, or performing leadership. I have really enjoyed this I Lead program. It has helped me become a better person. And I've learned that when I go through a situation, these four lessons can really help me because I've learned about growth, about attitude, about commitment, and I've learned about making choices. So like if I'm going through a situation, the growth that I have in my inner person will help me in that situation. And that will lead me to have a positive attitude. And that positive attitude will make me become more, a more committed person. And that will lead me to making a better choice and becoming a better person. And life will just be smooth, you know. I learned that growth isn't just a journey you take in one day. It's a journey which takes a long time and which people walk through. Uh, I've also learned that you, uh, growth helps help me by helping me develop characteristics and develop in things that I thought I couldn't do uh, before and it also helps me have confidence. Another main point uh, is choices. I learned that choices isn't something that you should take granted for because cho a choice is, is a gift and that choices don't just affect me, they affect everyone around me and that there are, all, there are consequences to good and bad choices. Uh, for me, making good choices have helped me in my studies because it has helped me to be more determined and to use more of my time wisely. I've learned that growth is all in one's mindset. Um, we, we're all born specifically to grow. So growing is not just external factors because you're eating well or living well or you know doing the right sports. It's all about one's mindset. So if you make the right decisions to grow, if you make the right choices, uh, it's going to help you to grow and become the person that you want to become in the, the near future. So um, I encourage you all to read this book because it's really life-changing, helps in your uh, social life, helps in your mental health and helps in very many aspects that you didn't know that you even needed help for. I have been running many things from this I read program. I run to interact with my colleagues. On this round table, we could converse together and we gave each other the ideas which would help us in our conversations and we, should, and we could have good conversations. The choices I make today determine the future tomorrow of me. So if I go for a bad choice, my future will be bad as well. So if I go for a good choice, my future will be the best. So in I lead, I'm learning to make choices that will not help me, but also help the society at large. So through making choices, I'm becoming a great leader because even here at school, we are entitled to make choices. So throughout the process, I'm learning and yeah, that's the best thing through I lead.